Hey everybody, once again, we will be working on the Troy built uh, 42 inch deck uh, lawn tractor here. Um, what's going on with it today is the blade spindles, which are original to this tractor, do not have grease fittings. And I swear I heard this one start to squeak and squawk on the last time I used it. So it is from 2006. I've never put spindles on it. So I have bought a set of blade spindles. So as you see here, the blade goes on this end. And then the top here is where the belt goes. I bought two of them. Just go ahead and replace them. These do have grease fittings. The only thing I don't like about this is the grease fittings are underneath the deck. But we'll lube them and see how long the grease lasts. So the first thing we're going to do is I have the air blower out, as you see. And we are going to go ahead and get the, the deck all blown off real good. And um, we'll start blowing the deck off. And then we're going to have to take the deck off because the spindles are right here. And once we get the deck off, it'll be really easy to change the spindles. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get the deck off, but shouldn't be too bad. I've got G Jr. here with me. So let me get the deck blown off and we'll get the deck, uh, start take the deck off and we'll be back. All right, so I blew the deck off here. I know there's a whole bunch more that we're gonna have to blow off once we get the deck off. I went ahead and removed my tube, which put here and I pulled it up here so it's on the gravel. So number first thing, number one importance on working on any lawn tractor is always disconnect your spark plug so the thing will not start. So I have the plug disconnected. Now, to get the deck off of this lawn tractor, uh, I didn't have a carter key last time. But see, right there we have this nail. We're gonna have to take this bent nail out of here, and there's another one on the other side, and then this will drop this deck down. And then there is a Then there is a linkage over there that I have to pull the pin on to get the linkage to come off. And then up front, the belt will come off of the pulley. And then once we get the front deck down, then you just slide this the deck forward and it will come out of that metal piece there. And then the deck will come off. So it's kind of hard to show everything I'm doing. But once I get it off, I'll show you. So there's two pins you got to get out here. The, li the linkage that engages the blade and then slide it off the front and the belt. So let me get this taken off. And when I get it off, I'll show you the points all again. But this is what we're doing now. I think I have some Carter keys now. So I'll actually replace this, this gutter nail or whatever this is with a uh, real Carter key. All right. All right, like I said, so right here is the one pin that goes through here, and um, which is actually not a pin, it's this piece of linkage right here. So this piece of linkage slides through here, and there's another bar that goes in here. Same way on this side, there's a bar that goes in here, and the piece of linkage goes through, and that's where that nail was here. So then the linkage sits here, you have this, that holds it in, you pull that out, and then you can see how the uh, spring, it's right here. This is what hooks to engage and disengage the blade. So it's there. Looks like I'm gonna need a new blade belt. I think I have one. So then I just slowly lift it up on these things to get them up out of the way. So this would slide out. So these kept getting caught on stuff. And there's these other broads right there. That's what I was looking for. They kept getting ca caught, caught on stuff. So this piece, these piece, there's two of them. These two hook in here and then the rod goes through. Okay, good. So now that we have this out, we're going to get the air blower out and we're going to get this uh, nice compost off the deck so I can continue working. So as you see, here's the blades here. Um, they have a break. Let's pull this one off. Let's see. I really can't tell, but so on to the next step. We're gonna get this, we're gonna clean this up and then get it over. 
We're gonna have to take these shields off. I don't know if there's nuts underneath, but there is a 13 millimeter here and another 13 millimeter over here we'll have to get off and a 13 here and a 13 buried underneath here. So let me get this thing blown off and cleaned off and we'll continue on and i'll have to see if i have a blade belt because i didn't realize that blade belt was that bad of shape if we don't we're gonna have to go get one all right well i started blowing the deck off we need to take the blades off so i'm going to use my son's brand new uh, matco impact gun it's a 15 16 socket and then this compressor does not have a lot of pressure in it like the ones that work so I'm gonna go ahead and block the blade. There it comes. So huh. There we go. First blade. Let's leave that there. We'll probably sharpen the blades up too. Well we got it. Put that blade there. Two blades off. I'm just go ahead and put the nuts back on. There, got it. All right, now these are the bolts that hold the spindles on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have to take those guards off or not, but let's see. Those guards have no nuts underneath so if we need to take the guards off we can take the guards off from up top so let me get a 13 and start busting these spindles loose all right i haven't pulled the shields up top yet so we're just going to go ahead and uh bust oh not good all right see that's the problem 12 point socket cheap 12 point socket is not taking these things apart so we're gonna have to find find a six point socket this brand new gun is like impossible all right let me see if i can find a good socket to get these off all right we found a six point socket and we put it on this one and it snapped off the heads that's one of the reasons why i bought spindles that came with brand new bolts because i kind of figured that these bolts would take and break so um go ahead and try to get this one press it on there all the way be sure it's not, you're not on. There you go. It broke again, right? Yep, they're all gonna break. So some of the spindles do come with bolts. So you're gonna have to get spindles that have bolts and now it's stuck in there. Did you bring out the screwdriver and the hammer? No. How'd you get the other one out? Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're all breaking. So be sure you buy spindles that have the bolt kit. And he's just whacking the uh, sockets out. I told him to get a screwdriver and hammer, but if he seems to get them out, that's fine. Ah, oh, one, one bolt out of four came out. Yeah, go ahead and knock those out. Yeah, another broken one. Oop, just broke that. What was that? It's a Coleman thing. Great, now we got broken glass down here. Yeah, this one's stuck. There we go. Boy, those blades look terrible, but they don't look like they're gouged or anything, so I guess we'll put an edge on them. Just use a screwdriver. Then nothing else will fall off. Ah! All right, that one, all four of them broke. All right, so let's, here, get that up out of the way, please. Here, you wanna help me flip this over? Try to keep the camera going to so get on that. We're gonna flip it. This yes, come on back. Yep. And right 
there we go. So we're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have to take these off. So oh, you need I need a belt, belt too. I know I didn't realize that. All right, here, go ahead and um, we're gonna have to take these shields off. So there's, uh, get your get your impact gun and the fort, uh, the tr 13 or half inch. And here, let's go ahead and bust these bust these loose. There's one there. Hopefully it won't break. Yep, good. We're gonna reuse that. There's two over here. Go. All right, hold on. Go again. All right. Go to the other one. All right, so take the shield off. There's the shield. We're gonna engage the blade. And get the belt off. And there's only two on that one. Yeah, there's only two on that one. All right, um, so now we have the old spindles off. Here, hold this for a second. Let me see, let's see. Oh yeah, can you hear it? Bearing's definitely dry on that one. And then let's get this one off of here. Oh, this one's so tight, it won't even spin. This is the one that I thought I heard it make a noise. Okay, so two dead spindles. Uh, I still need to finish cleaning the deck off. So let me get the deck finished cleaning off and then we'll go ahead and reinstall the new spindles. All right, so to put the spindles in, we're gonna have to flip the deck up. So the spindle is going to come through the top of the deck and you're gonna have to push the brake. There's a brake that, that engages in the pulley. And I went ahead and put a little bit of anti-seize on the bolts just to give us a little uh, lubricant because I don't know how good of threads these really are. Let's try to get this bolt started. You might have to back up a little bit. It might not be getting in focus. Okay, there we go. All right, so. And when you're putting bolts in something like this, you really need to get all the bolts started first. Oh, hold on here. Here's a problem I just foresee. Here, let me take this back off. Like I said, the grease fitting is underneath, so I guess I'll put the grease fitting there. Does that look better? Maybe a little uh, bit easier to get to? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put the grease fitting. Tr trying to get the grease fitting to point toward the outside of the deck. Okay, and these bolts here, if you look, they're, they don't need a lock washer. They don't need a lock washer because they're, they've got a, a thingy here to keep them tight. So, I don't have a torque spec on these. I'm not gonna use the impact gun on them because I don't wanna break them. So I'm gonna tighten them by hand. They're probably supposed to be tightened to like 22 foot pounds. Something like probably that. like that because what size of the bolts they are. 13. Well, they're 13 heads, but they're probably 5 16 bolts or 8 millimeter bolts. So we'll go ahead and get these tightened and get the other spindle up, and then we'll put the other covers on. So let me get these two spindles in and tightened up, and we'll come back. All right. All right, well, we got that spindle all on and tight. He's tightening up this spindle now. And he's doing it in a crisscross fashion to be sure. And we made sure there was no dirt and dust and stuff underneath where the mounting points are. And I put the grease fitting this way so I might be able to reach through the chute to get that one. Just, like I said, we don't have a torque wrench, but 22 foot pounds probably is about it. Somewhere between 15 and 20, so. He's just tightening them on up. 
That should be good. I can I can feel when they stop. Yeah. They don't go anymore. All right, slide on back. Let's lay this down. All right. So also what I did is I disconnected the spring on the brake, so uh, it wasn't holding me up over here. That uh, and it this hooks here. All right. Does that, is that break actually, oh, there it goes. Yes, yeah, so that breaks still free. So now, yeah, this goes around that blade like that, and then this will come around like that. So that's the way the belt goes on. And then this goes on up to the engine. And uh, I've already replaced these pulleys, so those pulleys still feel pretty good. But now I gotta find and see this, this 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 belt is getting ready to break so let me find a new belt and then we can put the covers back on and then we can get it reinstalled on the lawn tractor um getting it in this thing put back on is a pain in the butt you have to hook it up here then you have to bring those rods down the flat pieces down in here and then you have to push those other rods in this way really a pain in the ass there's no way i'm going to film it so I think I'm gonna leave this one here with this. So that's how you replace this is. All right, a little bonus footage. Uh, I do not have a belt. I'm gonna have to go get a belt. So that's no big deal. But I noticed that these bolt, new bolts that hold the spindle on stick out real far. And I know that my friend had a problem of these bolts always loosening up. So I happen to have some nylon locking nuts and we're going to go ahead and put the nylon knocking nut, nuts on top of here and see i can't get any farther than that because of the nylon we're going to go ahead and put this on all of them so they don't come loose so if you have one of these it's going to be a good idea either to get the nylon not locking nuts or the lock washer and the locking nuts. These happen to be 516. So oh, let me see. They are American. Let me see. They are 516, 18. You can buy a set of these at Harbor Freight. They're nylon locking nuts. So we're gonna put them on every single one. Do you have another one? The spring's in the way. So okay, this know. is not a locking one. So you got to be careful. Sometimes uh, I mix stuff up and there's no, lo that, that was not a locking one. That's not a locking one. Uh, that's a locking one. So we'll put that one here. So now we'll just get a, uh, I do believe they're 9 sixteenths. 9 sixteenths ratcheting wrench or something and we'll tighten them up. Do we have another one? Yep. So got one there, got one there, got one there. Need one over here. All right, that'll keep these nice and tight and so where they won't vibrate off the 9 16 right yeah feels like it. you see the springs in the way so i don't know i don't know if we're gonna have to well you're good i think once you put it all the way down i don't think the spring's gonna be in the way but that's a good good catch there um and it's on this one too yeah well can you slide the spring up I there sure, yeah. um is it 9 16 or half inch now these are half inch i'm sorry i made a mistake they're half inch they're half inch um 5 16 5 16 bolts have half inch heads so um, we're going to go ahead and tighten those up. I got the belt off. I had to loosen this pulley to get it past the here. There's a nut on the back side. So he's got his ratcheting wrench. We're going to tighten them up. Let's go ahead and tighten them tight. And um, that's your bonus footage. You should always put nuts on the back side of these spindles because this, these decks really, really vibrate really bad. Um, I don't care how much you, you balance your blades. They vibrate so bad. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for watching the bonus footage. Yeah, so I know we were going to end the video. And we already have one bonus, so here's bonus two. So here's bonus two. So when we went to Lowe's to get my belt because nobody else had a belt, I went ahead and picked up two new blades because the other blades were wasted. And um, so we went ahead and... We got the new belt put on and you had to take this pulley loose to get the belt past the safety right here and then the same thing you had to take this bolt that goes all the way through the deck 
because of this safety here. So when you put this back together, this bar here has a big hole that this has to fit into, so it will still pivot. So we're all ready to put the deck back underneath the mower, which is going to be a pain. I got G Jr. here helping me. And like I said, we've got these, these bars right here that have to go in between here and here and then those other rods go through here that's how the deck is lifted up and down oh and i forgot to tell you also too when you pull the deck off of this thing you want to go ahead and put this in the lowest position it really makes a difference all right so me and him are going to get this deck put back on and we'll fire it up and see how it cuts we're, oh we still have to put the shields back on here we still have to put that shield back on and we still have to put where's the other shield and we still need to put this shield back on i almost forgot so Still got to put the safety shields back on and then we'll be putting it back underneath the mower and after we get it back underneath the mower i'll come back and show you how it cuts yeah so getting these pins which are actually rods that come down and then this other metal piece in oh my gosh it's it's a pain if it wasn't for gg i never would have got it so then it's hooked up there new belts on and as he says now oh, it's really hard because of the new belt and we're up all the way again um all right gg you're fired up and back in the backyard and let's make sure oh wait a minute stop we disconnected the spark plug or i disconnected the spark plug because uh i didn't want it starting on me okay hold on all right plug spark plug back in all right go ahead Everybody. It looks like we got everything routed right on the lawn tractor. Two new spindles, two new blades, and a new belt. Uh, you know, if you're doing this job, you might as well go ahead and change the belt because you can't change the belt with that deck on, and you got to take the deck off to do it. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching again. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my videos, and you can always subscribe in that corner there.